consider our appearance in the ministry. And uh, it's noted that styles of clothing differ from place to place all over the world. And we see that in our JW broadcasts, the different type of dress the brothers have in some parts of the earth, and that's acceptable. But see, we have to think again about Bible principles guiding our decisions. The governing body has decided that sisters may choose to wear slacks when participating in the ministry. But see, we have to think again about Bible principles guiding our decisions. In addition, brothers may choose not to wear a tie or a jacket when participating in the ministry. Of 2 Corinthians 6, in no way are we giving any cause for stumbling so that no fault may be found with our ministry. That's very clear. Uh, how does Jehovah feel? Well, it's right here. Uh, he'd be offended if we uh, had an appearance in the ministry that stumbled, folks. Okay. This is our ministry in behalf of Jehovah God. We don't want to ever give a cause for stumbling. So if our appearance detracts from our representing ourselves as ministers of God, well, then that would stumble anyone that we're preaching to, and we would avoid that. Very clear, so you don't have to get long list of rules. Sisters may choose to wear slacks when participating in the ministry and when attending Christian meetings, assemblies, and conventions. If a sister chooses to wear slacks on such occasions, they should not be casual, but dignified, modest, and appropriate. When a sister has a part on the program, she should wear a skirt or a dress, if that is the standard of dress in that land. Of course, some sisters may choose to wear a skirt or a dress even when they do not have a part on the program. Very clear, so you don't have to get long list of rules. In addition, brothers may choose not to wear a tie or a jacket when participating in the ministry and when attending Christian meetings, assemblies, and conventions. If a brother chooses not to wear a tie or a jacket on such occasions, he should dress in a manner that is appropriate, modest, and dignified, not casual. When a brother has a part on the program, he should wear a tie and a jacket, if that is the standard of dress in that land. Of course, some brothers may choose to wear a tie or a jacket even when they do not have a part on the program. When visiting Bethel, it would be appropriate for brothers to wear a tie and a jacket and for sisters to wear a skirt or a dress if that is the standard of dress in that so land. You don't have to get long list of rules. We love you all very much. From the world headquarters of Jehovah's Witnesses, this is JW Broadcasting. So, Spiritual persons are governed by Bible principles. That way they're not going to be breaking a Bible law. So let's be determined to please Jehovah, to do our best always to perceive his will. How does he feel about this? And be guided by Bible principles when we make decisions.